Welcome back to Graphic Island Tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this music industry logo. So let's get started. Set up the page. Give those dimension and create the page. Now from the toolbar, select this ellipse tool by using shift and alt key, drag it and make it a circle. Now select this circle, edit, copy and paste in place. Drag it down by using shift and alt key and make the size smaller. Select this and increase the stroke from here. Similarly with the inner circle we need to increase the stroke. Now align it vertically and horizontally center. Now from the toolbar select this text tool and here write the logo text. Drag the text and make the size bigger and place it at the center. Drag it by using Alt can make a duplicate and edit it. Make one more duplicate and edit it. Now select those text and change the font from here. Drag it down and make the size smaller and place it here. Drag it outside and make the size bigger. Now bring this one here and let's take this one here. drag it and make the size bigger so let's rotate it little similarly rotate this one and take this one towards uh, right hand side rotate the, this small text as well and place it on the perfect position Now it looks great. Let's take it little down. Now select them and expand it. Take this rectangular tool and here draw a rectangular shape. So now we'll make uh, the mic shape here. It should be a little bit inclined so that it can match up with the logo. Now taking this direct selection tool, we'll round those corner. Similarly round those two other corners individually like this. Now take this rectangular tool and here draw another rectangle and rotate it and match up with this shape. Now select both and unite it from here. Now take this pen tool and here draw a line by following this and drag it. Now place this straight line here and make duplicate by using Alt key and drag it. Now 
let's make few more duplicates and place it here using alt key just you need to drag it and it will create a duplicate and here uh, we'll make a curve rotate it now using scissor tool we'll cut on this two point and delete it let's increase the stroke for this and make duplicate using alt key and drag it and place it here similarly we'll make few more duplicates and place them make sure the gaps are uniform and here also we'll make a curve shape and duplicate it by using alt key and drag it make one more similarly at the top we'll do the same make one more duplicate Now select it and take scissor tool and cut to the intersection point. So here it is disturbing us while cutting on the intersection point. So we'll select those by using shift key and we'll lock those reference lines. Now we can cut it easily. At all the intersection points you need to cut it like this So once you cut all uh, all the curves on different points, now select them and delete it. The middle portion which we don't need here. Now do multiple selections of the curves by using shift key. Let's increase the stroke little. Give it six. Expand it. After expanding, take direct selection tool and drag it and make the corners round. Select it by using shift key and from here do minus front and we made a gap here. Now using direct selection tool, select the corner points, drag it and make it a curve. Here draw a curve using this pen tool. Now drag this curve little down. Select this and by using scissor tool cut at the intersection point and delete. Similarly do the same. Now select them and increase the stroke up to 6 and expand it. After expanding, select it, take direct selection tool, drag it and make the corner round. Now delete this one. Now take pen tool and here we'll customize this shape.
and delete it using alt key draw a straight line select the shape using alt key delete it and now round this corner similarly we'll do the same here and delete it now select those shapes by using shift key by using alt key delete it so let's do the same at the top do multiple selection using shift key increase the stroke up to six now take the down curve at the top And now using scissor tool we'll cut those shapes with the same uh, measurement and now delete those unwanted portions now select them and expand it Now round it, select this using shape builder tool and alt key, delete it. Using direct selection tool, select these two points and drag it and make, make it round. Now select those text using shift key, go to object, path, offset path. Let's increase the offset little. Okay. And now unite all the offset together. Change the color. Select those circles and this shape using shift key. Take shape builder tool using alt key. Delete it. So here we are making the gap. Wherever is needed. Select this one and increase the offset for this. Select the down shape. This one and this one. Take shape builder tool using alt key. Delete it. Now our logo is ready. So we are giving a background here send this one to back and change the color to white so drag it more and give some transparency to this one now let's draw another background using this rectangular shape and give this color to black and send it to back So we can get more transparency so that it can better match up with our background. So hope you like this tutorial. You can support Graphic Island by doing like, share and subscribe. Thank you.